Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. Today we're going to be talking about Teen Titans, so please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And for more videos like this, watch my oldest son's channel, Little Chris 10, my other house channel, a and Snakes and Stuff, or my youngest son's channel, Any Toys and Games. Now let's dive in. <laughs> Teen Titans Go! is a bit of a controversial cartoon among fans, as it is a much more comedic Kid friendly version of the 2003 Teen Titans cartoon, which was darker and more anime inspired. Some fans see Teen Titans Go as representative of the uber communication of art, a cash grab of a show with none of the heart of the original. Of course, to think that would be to ignore one of the most subversive, hilarious, and most of all bizarre superhero animated shows to date. <sniffs> then there's the movie, which gave us some of the best moments in a DC film, like Robin enthusiastically pushing Thomas and Martha Wayne into Crime Alley so Batman can't exist but also the TV show itself, which stands alongside regular show and Flapjack as often breaking Cartoon Network's No Weird Rule. There are episodes where Robin teaches the Titans <coughs> about equality pyramid schemes. And even the IRS, at its best, the show is like a kid's version of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, with its horrible characters and hilarious shenanigans. No wonder the show has so many guest stars, like Zack Sander, LeBron James, Weird Al Yankovic, and also Fall Out Boys. When it came to Fall Out Boy star, Tara Strong once told CBR, the guest row happened by accident. Strong was on a plane, and Fall Out Boy's Pete wins it was sitting behind her, talking about Teen Titans Go. When Strong introduced herself as the voice of Raven, he freaks out when he knows who I am, said Strong, who the band then invited to see them at a concert. They're all big fans of Teen Titans Go, and they're talking about how cool it'd be to be on the show. We introduced them to the producers, and they're like, let's make that happen. <sniffs> Fall Out Boy saved the Titans from a magical dragon. By the time Fall Out Boy made it to Teen Titans Go, they joined one of the greatest runs of the show. The special four-part episode hilariously titled, The Day the Night Stopped Beginning to Shine and Became Dark Even Though It Was the Day. <sniffs> Long story short, the special is inspired by a virus song first introduced in a 2014 episode which later became Cyborg's all-time favorite song and biggest obsession, The Night Begins to Sunshine. The song, which reached the Billboard Rock Charts in 2017, isn't actually written by a rock band, but was part of a production music library, which puts out generic music to use in movies, TV, and commercials. Written as an 80s style song, there's no denying the night begins to shine as catchy as all hell. Thanks to the power of its three writers, according to the lore of the show, 40% was written by drummer Carl Burnett, another 40% came from guitarist Franklin Ernana, and latest keyboardist William J. Reagan gave us the last sweet, sweet 20% of the song. The fake band's name that appeared on the Billboard charts, B-E-R, is taken from the first letter of each musician's last name. For the four-episode special, the producers brought in some big players, CeeLo Green, Fall Out Boy, and even Puffy Amani, composers of the original show's theme song, to do the covers of The Night Begins to Shine. 
the episode finds episode finds Cyborg wished away to a post-apocalyptic fantasy world ruled by a dragon in order to save him. The rest of the Titans recruit Green and Fallout Boy to sing the song, which is magical and turns the rock band into a Voltron-like transforming robot. It rules. Thank you for watching this video and peace out to the next one.